Hey there, welcome to Synth Seeker. My name's Luke. Today we're going to be looking at uh, some more Berlin School. We're going to come forward in time a little bit. We're going to leave the 70s and we're going to come into the 80s where Berlin School started sort of crossing with Synthwave. So um, we're going to get into a space that is, uh, you may remember, television shows such as Knight Rider. Think of the opening theme there. Or Airwolf or any of the later... Uh, Tangerine Dream albums um, like the Legend soundtrack and things like that. Um, you know, sort of a manhunter like driving synth bass. And what we're going to focus on today is basically doing um, this sort of driving 16th note bass. Uh, and this is a technique that is just straight sequencing, a little bit of delay and reverb, but it's not the um, eighth notes with the dotted eighth delay sort of ducka 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 technique that I've done in previous videos. I'm going to show you um, really just, it's not hard, how to set up uh, and generate an infinite number of uh, variations on your own, all right? <laughs> We're gonna work in C minor here, all right? So I'm gonna simplify this. I'm gonna say scale C minor, we here. And that from a note perspective, it sounds like. Right, and you can do this in any scale you want. Uh, I'm only using two synths in this, using both soft synths, although you can do this in anything you want. As I played for you a second ago, I've got this bass part where if you hit it with low velocity, the filter stays pretty clamped down. It's just a bass pluck. But as you bring the velocity up, it opens the filter up. Um, watch the previous video from ooh, maybe a year ago on uh, Berlin School Plucks, and you can learn how to make this sort of sound. Um, and then I've also got a pad sound here that I am just doing a sort of Jean-Michel Jarre, Tangerine Dream kind of spacey pad. Right? And that's, that's basically like a D50 bell pad on top of a, like a CS80 Jean-Michel Jarre kind of uh, ensemble strings pad. All right, and that's it. We're gonna use those two sounds. So, but let's go back to the bass, all right? Go to our clip. Uh, the easiest way to just start this out is to record a straight 16, 16th notes pattern, okay? And you wanna do it in the root of the key. We're doing this in C minor. So we're going to record this in C. So let me quickly record 16 little 16th notes. All right. So however you want to do it, you can type them in by hand. You can press them yourself. But basically, you want to have these 16th notes playing. And you want to adjust them so that their velocity is pretty quiet. You want them to be sort of subtle. So let's bring the velocity down. All right. And you want to set their gate length to be a little on the short side. It depends a lot on what your synth patch is. All right, too much. That's too, too much. <laughs> too short, too long, or too legato. Put them right about here. All right. So I've got these 16th notes running on the root of the key, all right, C minor. And what you want to do is you can vary your pattern by either changing velocity on a few notes or by moving some of those notes around in the key, right, to other places. But you always want to sort of let it focus on the root. So we're going to leave most of the notes on C. We're going to drop a couple up an octave maybe down an octave. We're gonna move them up and down a few notes at a time. Just so while it's playing, start experimenting with moving a few notes around. We'll bring that up an octave. Bring this one up. Bring the velocity up a little bit on that one. So 
So there's one, call that a pattern. All right, I'm gonna duplicate that pattern. All right, now let's keep changing it a little bit more. Pull a note off the root, you might want to bring its velocity up just to accent it. done here. It's all still mostly this C root, right? Got an octave up here, an octave up here. We're moving things around in the key a little bit, but we're maintaining it right on that C for the most part. So the groove is C. I think I'm going to bring this down. Now I've got two variations. We've got this one and this one. Let's do another duplicate here. really easy. Just stay on the root, set up a bunch of 16th notes, and then start moving things around a bit. The effects that are running right here are some delay and some reverb. Here it is dry. And a little bit of delay. and start playing our pads. I need a little metronome. One more. So we've got our chord progressions here, some little pads. We're just playing little intervals. Right? And they're centered on the root as well. I'm just holding the root note down C, playing through all those chords, and then playing one other note at some interval. 
let's change the baseline. Basically, you could go nuts with that. All right. And then, um, as I said in another previous video, you can do global pitch transposition on top of this and start moving it around the key. Uh, it would sound something like this. Right? And we could start moving it. And let it come around once. it as we go. Sorry about the metronome. And that's it. It gets doesn't get any easier than that. Get yourself a bass pluck, a little delay, a little reverb, and instead of doing dotted eighths with the dot, uh, excuse me, instead of doing eighth notes with a dotted eighth re, um, delay, just do sixteenths that hover on the root and have a few accent notes that you accent by either changing the pitch or changing the velocity. And that's it. Give it a shot. Thanks for joining me here for this very short video. It's a little technique you can try with your Berlin School and or Synthwave. And uh, as always, you've been watching Synthseeker. Have a good week.